Hello, welcome to the first episode in the first season of this new series for Bitcoin for Beginners called Exploring Exchanges, where we will dive into exchanges, show you how they work and how you can make trades by doing live examples. Today's episode, we will be showing the world's second largest crypto exchange by daily trading volume, OKX. We will explain some details about the exchange, how to open an account, explore the exchange's basic features, how to deposit coins, we will buy and sell coins live, and if we're lucky, we will also try to withdraw from the exchange. The coin we will be trading today is Ontology. And by the way, don't forget, if you like this topic and video, please smash the like and subscribe to the channel so we can grow and provide even more content like this, and we will definitely appreciate your subscription. So let's get started. First, a small introduction about OKX. OKX is located on the domain okx.com and is currently still Hong Kong based, but is officially incorporated in Belize. However, they have announced that they will move to Malta due to its crypto friendly regulators over there. They go hand in hand with Binance in that sense, as Binance has also announced to make the same move. As you can see, trading volume for the last 24 hours has been pretty massive. You can also see the available coins here, they offer more than 100. Most of the trading pairs are against Bitcoin, Ethereum and USDT. They have recently listed some of the major coins also in trading pairs against their own native coin, OKB, which is the exchange's equivalent of Binance's BNB coin. Besides crypto to crypto trading, it is also possible to buy some of the major coins with fiat currency. However, they enable this option not like regular exchanges where you transfer and deposit to the exchange, but instead they offer a customer to customer platform where users can trade and transfer money directly with each other and exchange only functions as sort of an escrow and mediator, more or less comparable with local bitcoins I think. Other features that are available are the more sophisticated trading options like futures, margin trading and short selling. These are obviously not beginner friendly and they have very high risk, so we won't be looking into those today. For crypto to crypto trading, no verification is required for deposits, withdrawal and trading. To be able to withdraw only a few extra account settings need to be done, which I will show you in a moment. The limits for crypto trading and withdrawals with an unverified account are very high, so that allows a lot of freedom. In today's video, I will only show the process of depositing, withdrawing and trading for the crypto to crypto token trading platform on OKX. Now let's start by showing you how to sign up. And this is uh, not very difficult, though a little bit different than on other exchanges. So you click sign up and then you will need to enter your email address here, and then click get code. An email will be sent to your email address that has a code that you need to enter here. After you've done that, you enter password, repeat the password, agree to the terms, and then click sign up. I have already signed up for an account, so I will just go to log in. Just enter email, password, and log in. After you log in, you get into this screen, which is the token trading platform which is what you need for crypto to crypto trading. First of all, we need to set some security settings, which is of course important for your account security, but also necessary to be able to withdraw funds later on. First of all, you need to activate Google Authenticator. Usually it will say settings here, which you will click. And then you need to back up this key because it will allow you to restore your two-factor authentication, may you, for example, lose your telephone. Then the first thing you need to do is click Get Code again, where they will send you another email with another email code, which you then enter here. And once you've done that, you will scan the QR code with your Authenticator app. And then if you have done that, the Google code that is shown in your app will enter here within 30 seconds. Confirm will appear right over here, which you will click. 
and then you will be able to turn on Google Authenticator. The second thing you need to do is set your fund password, which is a second password that you will need on the platform to be able to uh, add withdrawal addresses and uh, enter trades. So you will click on settings and you will choose a um, new password, repeat the password, and you will need to confirm it with your two-factor authentication app on your Google app. Then click confirm and you are done with that. Now, second of all, we want to deposit funds. And for that, we click account. And then we get into the account balances of our spot account, which is the main account. You need to be in this account to be able to trade crypto to crypto. Uh, for example, if you want to deposit Bitcoin, you will click deposit. And then you will get the deposit address where you would need to send Bitcoin to. In this case, we will deposit Ether, so we will click deposit at Ether, and then we were provided with an Ether address where we will need to send our funds to. I will copy that address and then go to my wallet, send, I will paste my OKX Ether address, enter 0.1, click next, and then I can submit the transaction. After you send the funds, you can check token deposit and you will see here history and you see we already have five confirmations and in total 12 confirmations are necessary for the funds to be available for trading. So we are going to wait for those 12 confirmations. I'll be right back. And only a few minutes later, we already have a successful deposit of 0.1 Ether, as you can see here. So then we can just go to balance and we see here Ether in our balance and we can click trade and that will bring us to the trading platform for tokens, token trading. Um, yeah, we can just see here the order book red is sell orders, green is buy orders, here is the order form. Let's buy Ether USDT. Okay, you see Ether USDT. We are going to sell Ether and buy USDT. So we can choose between limit order and market order. I will do the first one as a market order. The amount of Ether I'm going to sell, 0 0.1. I will need to enter the fund passwords, that's the second password that I had entered earlier. And then I can sell either market order means against the first available price. There you go. And our order has executed. Here you see our available balance in USDT, 67.60 USDT. All right, now I want to buy ontology. Just going to search it here. Ontology USDT. So here's the order form again. In this case, I'm going to buy Ontology and I'm going to set a limit order. And I'm going to see that's now the best price 8.75. We are going to set our limit at 8.7 and we will buy the maximum amount. We set it to 100, which means we will buy 7,770. Ontology for 8.7. Now we are going to buy Ontology. And as you can see, here is our order going to USDT. Buy, and it's open. The price has not hit yet, so we would have to wait until it hits. And if not, then we can just cancel the order and put a new one. In this case, we will. 8.80% and just buy here we are again here you see our order in the order book and our limit order got fully executed which we will see here we have a total balance of 7670 ontology all right so now we're just going to sell our ontology 
for a market order, 100%, and you're gonna sell. So now that's also done. Okay, now suppose we want to withdraw our funds from our account. That means we have to go to our account, token withdraw, and uh, I already set the wallet address, but if you haven't yet, you will just click add address. You will fill in here your personal wallet address. You give it a name so you can recognize it. You will have to put in your Google authentication code, but first you need to click verify address. You will need to again get a code through your email. You click get code, fill in the email code that you get in your email inbox. You will have to enter your fund password again, and then I suggest at that point you will do your Google authentication code because you will only have 30 seconds to do that. And then under here, confirm will appear. And you click that, and then your address is added. So you, here you see that I already added my address. So in amount, I can just fill in my available balance and confirm withdrawal. The transfer application has been submitted successfully, pending transfer. And if we want to see if our withdrawal is succeeded, we can just click history. And then we will see our withdrawal here in the list. And it has indeed succeeded. And maybe five minutes later, I see that the amount has arrived in my Ether wallet here. Okay, that was it for this video about OKX. We tried to do some transactions, traded coins, and showed a lot of the account setup and explored some of the available functions on the platform. My overall experience is that account security seems important on the platform considering all the security setup and double passwords that you are required to use where in other exchanges those extra security features are generally only optional. But on here, the account processes are double, triple protected. So that is positive for your personal account security. It does take some extra time to set everything up, but I guess that extra security is worth the effort. Fees seem relatively reasonable compared to market averages, and there is more than enough choices in coins. And for many pairs, there is also sufficient liquidity. Many options for advanced traders, but the interface for basic functions seems simple enough for beginners as well. I think their ranking in trading volume as the world's second largest after Binance also says something about their popularity among users. Hope it was helpful, and if it was, of course we appreciate your like and subscribe to our channel. Next episode in Exploring Exchanges, we will explore another exchange. If you have any suggestions that you would like to see, Please let me know in the comments and I will surely consider it for any of the next videos in this season. For now I wish you happy trading, but as always, don't invest more than you can afford to lose. See you next time. Cheers!